Hi, this is DevTigris and welcome to my JavaScript tutorial number one. JavaScript is a popular language that is used to build apps, games, and add all kinds of advanced functionality to your web page. JavaScript is not HTML, so there isn't a way of simply typing JavaScript just about anywhere within the page. It's not going to work. But HTML provides us with a few reserved places where we can type our JavaScript code. One of those places is right within some of the HTML tags. For example, the onload event, and we can type our JavaScript here. We can also type JavaScript within multiple attributes within the same tag that represent different JavaScript events. For example, if somebody clicked on the body tag, there's an event for that, and it's called onClick. And here we can also type JavaScript. This gives us flexibility in terms of when our JavaScript code is executed. But if you're looking to write a general case JavaScript program, you would type your JavaScript within here, which is called internal definition of JavaScript. And it's added by using the script tag with a type of text slash JavaScript. And go ahead and close this tag. And in between here, we can also type some JavaScript. In this tutorial, we're going to focus on basics of JavaScript programming. And so I'll limit all of the code that we're going to write just to this area right here. And we might as well delete all of this here. As opposed to writing JavaScript within HTML. In JavaScript, a program consists of multiple statements. We can create a variable and assign value of one to it. We're going to create a second variable and assign two to it. In JavaScript, this is a called a statement. All statements usually end with a semicolon. Your entire program is just going to be a series of these statements. Of course, you're not going to be simply creating and assigning values to variables. Your program can get a lot more complex than this. But in its basic form, a program executes one statement after the other after the other in this order. In JavaScript, you'll be writing a lot of code. You're not going to be limited just a few statements. Over a long period of time, you'll start noticing that you'll be actually forgetting what the code that you have written does. And comments is a great way to remind yourself what you were thinking when you're writing that code. A comment in JavaScript starts with double slash like this. And it's basically a description of what you have done on that line of code. Created a variable called a and assigned value one to it. After the double slash, you can type any text you want. It's not actually going to be executed by JavaScript at all. It's just a text comment. But there's also a second format for adding comments. And it starts with a slash and a star. And it works exactly in the same way. For example, we created variable b and assigned value to, to it. A comment that starts with slash star has to also end with star slash in the reverse order. Star slash. If you don't do this, it will actually grab the next line of code all the way up until the closing script tag and consider this a comment also, even though this is a line of JavaScript code. We don't want to do that. We're going to end it right here with a star and a slash. This way, this line opens up again. This allows us to create multi-line comments. It doesn't matter what it is that we type here. All of this will be considered just a comment until we close it with a star and a slash again. Here, we can continue writing our JavaScript code like this. In this simple example, we don't even need comments. And this is just... In JavaScript, it's possible to assign text to variables. For example, let's create a variable called t and assign some text to it. And so this is how you create a text variable. It contains a value. Let's create another text string and this time assign it to a variable with the name u. And remember, each statement will always close. In JavaScript, text is often referred to as strings. So this is one string of text. 
because it's basically just a number of characters and this is the second string of text and just like with a mathematical addition here text in JavaScript can also be added to each other for example let's create a variable called V and T plus you can add text right into the equation and add up variables at the same time so at this point V will actually contain this string then a space and so far we covered where to add JavaScript on our web page and we work with some numeric and text-based variables. In my next tutorial we're going to cover JavaScript in more detail and gradually we'll get into more advanced subjects. So thanks for watching guys so far and I hope to see you in my next tutorial.